through four letters have um, five letters in this group and we're going to start with the letter B. Okay, so here we have your entrance stroke. Lift your pen, you have your ascending stem loop. Lift your pen, put a small pressure on the inside of that um, hairline and then connect out. Okay, again, if you like to put a secondary shade for these letters, you can. And that's how you would do it. Okay, so for this, make sure that um, the loop for the top of this B it does not is not bigger than the bottom of that B. It should more or less stay on the same area space. Okay, you should just take up similar area. This loop, make sure it's nice and narrow that you can see that oval shape at the bottom of that B. Okay, we're not going to curve that um, ascending stem loop. Make sure not to curve it. Go straight up like an L and then put pressure and then exit out. Okay, the next letter is your letter H. You have your entrance stroke. You have your ascending stem loop. The squared bottom and then you're going to come up with your compound curve. So again, here in this letter, we're looking at our slant, we're looking at the space, we're looking at this um, gradual pressure. Sorry, that arrow should go down. It's actually going to come up this way and go down. So we're going to go down this way. And then this part right here is going to be your curve, your oval shape, and your compound curve. Okay, so let's do that again. Have your entrance stroke. And then your exit. Okay, next we're going to move on to our letter P. So the letter P is going to be your entrance stroke, your full pressure stroke, full pressure stroke all the way down from your first ascending line to your first descending line. And then we're going to do a compound curve. Okay, you can also do a C shape, an oval shape. So you have your entrance stroke, full pressure stroke down, and then you're going to have your C add your dot, and then your exit stroke. Okay, so for this P, you want to look at the area here. You want to make sure that this is similar with to your bottom. Work on your, practice your square tops and your bottoms. You want to look at this oval shape to make sure it's not too wide. Okay, and then that full pressure stroke should be on the slant line. Okay, the next letter is going to be your letter Y. Okay, so we're going to start here with your compound curve. And then you move over your nib to your right. 
pick up your pen and exit out. Okay, here I actually exit, I came a little bit short for that baseline. Okay, so I'm going to work on that loop. Making sure that this loop is at the similar area space as your top. Making sure you have this oval shape in here. And if you actually, um, a cool thing about this letter is that when you flip it, it should be your letter H. Okay, so if this was our H before, but then when I flipped it, as you can see, here's my letter Y. Okay, so that's another good way for you to check your letter forms that when you turn it around, it should be an H, and when you turn it, you'll see your Y. Okay, and our last letter, which happens to be our letter Z, okay, and that's our last one for the lowercase letters. Okay, so similar to X, we're going to do a backward C for our Z. I'm going to make a small loop. So instead of closing off that stroke, we're going to make that small loop, lift your pen, and now we're going to have to make a loop down here by making sure that it's at the right slant. I think that is the hardest part about this particular letter, is making sure that this is along that 55 line. And which is why I like to kind of um, separate out that first part with the second. And a good something that I found helpful was to make sure you extend that out um, to give you that space. Okay, so if you don't extend it out and you make it really close, I found that the letters tend to be more at an upright angle. Okay, so it tends to be more on a little bit different angle. Okay, so let's do that again. So we I like to keep it as close over there as possible to kind of really bring it down to the left. And then from here I look at this angle right here. And I want to make sure that my loop will be on that slant line. Okay, so that's a good way to kind of practice is as you finish off that first loop, I lift my pen and as I look at this space, I really want to make sure that I'm going to be slanted along that 55 degree line. Okay, but another way I like to write Z's is I start with the baseline, I come up past the header line, I make a small loop, I kind of dip down, come back up to that waistline, and from here I make a slight curve in, make another loop at the bottom, come back up, and then do a crossbar across that Z. Okay, so that's another fun way to write the Z for the basic Z. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. You do your up past the waistline, loop down. Actually, that one closed up, so let me do that again. I like to keep that loop open. Okay, so you have up, up here, lift your pen, do your loop down and come back up and connect it out. Okay, so those are your two basic Z's and that concludes our lowercase letters and now we're gonna move on to connecting strokes.